Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a very short Lightroom tutorial. I'm just going to teach you the basics. So let's start. The first thing you need to do is to import your photos or just one photo that you want to edit. The easiest thing is to just drag and drop, but you can also hit import right here and select your photo. I'm going to select this one because it's not edited. We're going to hit develop. So now we have all of the adjustments on the right side panel. The most important thing you need to know is how to use these ones right here from the basic section. I like to shoot my pictures slightly underexposed and just adjust the exposure from Lightroom. I also recommend that you shoot RAW instead of JPEG. It will help you a lot with editing in Lightroom. So now let's adjust the exposure for this photo. This is going to need a lot of exposure, plus two. And I don't usually like to increase contrast because it makes me lose detail. See what happens? You can actually decrease a bit. That will work. Now, I think one of the most important secrets that I use when I edit is to decrease highlights and increase shadows. Look what just happened. Look how crisp this is. So much detail, right? You don't have to do it all the way. You can just do it halfway or wherever you feel it's perfect for your picture whites as long as your photo allows you to increase whites i suggest you do i like my whites to be very white i don't know if that makes sense but it creates a very nice i think contrast it makes the picture look very light blacks if I don't have enough contrast in my picture, I do like to decrease a bit, but I don't think this will be the case, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. Clarity. This is a very tricky tool. I do like to increase clarity. Not too much though, cause then you will have way too much structure in your picture. We don't like that but maybe plus 10, 15, even 20. I think that's pretty decent. Now that we're halfway through, let's take a look at the before and after. So we just click this right here, and now we see the before and after. See, with just a few adjustments, the photo changed completely. Let's move to Vibrance. If you feel like the colors need a bit more saturation, I do suggest you use Vibrance instead of saturation. Vibrance is a bit softer, I guess. See what happens with saturation? I think it's not the effect that you would want. But even with Vibrance, make sure you slightly increase it we don't want to overdo it i don't suggest using this section right here unless you're a pro and then you already know moving on to colors this is one of the most important parts in creating a preset what i usually like to do because my skin is very light in order to look more tan i just decrease luminance for orange but that usually makes your skin look incredibly orange so you're gonna have to also decrease saturation not the case in this picture but just so you know moving on yellows i'm not gonna touch the yellows too much because i don't have that much yellow in the picture greens very important i don't like my greens to be 
to green. What I do like is that effect of burnt grass. So I just move it slightly towards the yellow. Maybe luminance up. And I think that's it. Yep, looks way better. Let's see, aqua. We want the sky to be a bit more green, but let's do it from here, from the blue. See how beautiful this is? This makes an incredible difference. Luminance, I think, a bit up. Yeah, that's better. Maybe saturation a bit down. We don't want the blue to be overly saturated. I don't have any purples in the picture, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And now my picture is almost ready. I feel like maybe increasing the blacks a bit will help. Yeah, that's better. So this looks pretty good. What I like to do is because I what I do with my photos is just post them on Instagram. I like to have the perfect size for Instagram. So we go to the crop tool and in order to have the perfect Instagram size, we go to this one right here. And now we see exactly what Instagram allows us to post. This looks perfect. I'm really happy with this. And now all you have to do is click File, Export, make sure you select JPEG, and hit Export. And that's about it, guys. I hope this was a helpful tutorial, and please like and subscribe.